This next one is cryptically called Introduce Processes to Production Early in the Delivery Cycle. You could translate that to be Testing in Live. But if you say Testing in Live in pretty much any organization that you all work for, anyone in IT will throw their arms up in horror. And years ago, I would have included myself in that because I started out as an assembler programmer in Halifax Bank. And we were told, you never, ever test in live. Everything that you do has to be done in test. You have to build this huge test environment that is representative of all of the different systems that we've got, and all the accounts have to line up, and the customer detail all has to line up. And it can take weeks, if not months, to pull this environment together. But actually, the digital worker is not making any changes to any of those, uh, those systems. All it's doing is reusing those existing assets in exactly the same way as the human workforce does. So why do you need all of this test environment? What are you testing? And I've seen it where people, customers have spent weeks testing that the test environment is set up correctly. And then transitioning it into production, which doesn't quite look like the test environment, so having a test that the process then works in production. It's crazy when you talk about it like that, but that's the way organizations, your organizations, will instinctively react to this idea of, say, of testing in live. So use the term, introduce processes to production early in the delivery life cycle, you might get away with it for a while. Call it live proving, that, that's worked as well. But truly when an organization has embraced RPA is when you can have those grown up discussions with the senior representatives of the IT team and senior representatives of the business teams and we see that it absolutely does work. The reason we know it works is the person that told us we should do this is called Jane Conroy, and she was the head of RPA, she wasn't called that then because there was no such thing about as RPA, in 2008 at the Co-op Bank. And after we'd been working with her to work out how to put this, um, these, this uh, product into the Co-op Bank, after a while she said, Neil, there's, there's got to be a better way than this because the test cycle is going to take forever. <laughs> 